This is a recipe for butternut squash and pancetta soup. This absolutely stunning dish. Hint of chilli within the dish will keep you warm on these winter nights. Really simple to put together and tastes absolutely great. Okay, the first ingredient and the main ingredient, we've got the butternut squash, okay? That's gonna form the basis of the soup. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna move on and we are going to add a touch of oil to a pan. To that, we're gonna add clove of garlic and a red onion, finely diced. Also, the seeded red chilli. Now, if you don't like it as hot as this, add less, but I absolutely love this. I think that will really add not only heat, but a great flavour to the dish. And also, some smoked paprika. So that goes in. And what we want to do, we just want to sweat that down for probably four or five minutes. We want to start the onions start to get really nice and sweet. So it's going to take out all of the harshness from the garlic. Now this is going to form an absolutely great base of the soup. As you can see, the colour there is absolutely stunning with the, with the paprika. I think we're just about ready now. And we're going to add our butternut squash. And this needs to be cooked down for just a couple of minutes. And now I'm going to add my stock. There's 400 ml vegetable stock going in. But any stock would be absolutely fine. Now we're just going to wait for this to come to a boil. Reduce the heat and let that simmer for around 20 minutes until it softens. Then we're going to transfer it to the blender and blitz it down. While that's simmering, I'm going to move on to my pancetta. This will need no additional oil within the pan, okay? This is going to go straight in, into a dry pan. Make sure it's nice and hot. And this will take just a couple of minutes just to brine off. And you'll see within the pan, the oil will all be released. Okay, so we'll be left with some beautiful, really crispy pancetta. We'll add another texture to the soup. It's absolutely stunning. Beautiful now. You can see the oil that's actually come out of the pancetta, okay? We don't actually need that pancetta for the pan, leaving as much of the oil in there as I can. And that's going to be used just to finish off our soup at the end. That smells absolutely unbelievable. What we're going to do now, we're going to actually transfer this to our blender. We're going to blitz it with the Yo Valley Greek yogurt and the pancetta, okay? So let's want to just Okay, let's have a quick check. Okay. So we're going to return this one to the pan again. Lovely velvety consistency. Okay. Okay. Now what we're going to do? We're going to add our Yo Valley organic Greek style yogurt. Instead of using double cream, the use of the Yo Valley yogurt will actually really enrich in the soup. It'll make it really nice and rich, but also keep it light at the same time. That's all incorporated. Now I'm going to sprinkle my pancetta on. And we are ready to serve. Just going to finish this some finely chopped coriander. And there we go, butternut squash and pancetta soup. Mm -hmm.